the locals want to keep it that way, but it is definitely a hidden gem. Last year I came here, I lived on a sustainable farm, I helped host a yoga teacher training. This year I'm doing the same thing, I'm really excited. We're going to be heading up to the place that we're hosting the yoga teacher training today. And I'm just enjoying being by the beach because where we're hosting it is up on a hill so it's a little bit farther from the beach. As you can hear, it's super loud around me, the jungle is super loud and then there's pretty strong waves right now, there's a bunch of surfers on the beach surfing, it's about 6am here, I'm sweating, <laughs> the day hasn't even started yet but in Punta Banco in March it's like the hottest month here in Costa Rica so it's pretty damn hot. Between like 1 and 3 p.m. no one really leaves their house and if they do they're crazy. <laughs> it's one of those types of months so it's really nice to be able to dip in the water, to refresh and that is exactly what I'm about to do. Banco Costa Rica and I'm here living in the jungle <laughs> yet again it is the hottest time of day here <laughs> and I was trying to film a video amongst these beautiful banana trees all surrounding me it's been really fun living in the jungle it's definitely an experience that I recommend you to do if you feel the call to do. I have a video on some things I recommend for you to do before you come live in the jungle because it is a big shift, especially if you're coming from a city or somewhere that isn't the jungle. <laughs> but it is so beautiful. So I'm here living on a sustainable farm where I'm hosting a yoga teacher training with Soul School Yoga. And this farm is so beautiful. There's so many different trees and plants and flowers and herbs and fruits. And it's actually up the hill from the beach. So if we want to go to the beach, we just walk down the hill. 
The beaches are so beautiful here, so untouched, so magical. Where we're living, we don't have AC and there is not really a lot of coverage. So during the day when it is really hot between 1 and like 3 p.m., most people don't really leave their homes. As you can tell here, I am sweating a lot, but I am under some trees, <laughs> so it's helping. It's so worth it. I love doing this. I love coming to the jungle. I love experiencing the magic of living in the jungle. It's something that isn't for everyone. And it's such a beautiful experience to connect back to our primal selves, you know, who we truly are and the reconnection to nature, the reconnection to Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, Pachamama, reconnection to our soul, to our body, to the instinctual nature that we all have, the connection that we have to each and every land around the world as well. And the land here in Costa Rica it's so potent, it's so powerful. There's so much that is alive and thriving. There's so many different animals and birds and insects. And um, it really just goes to show the truth of the power and the regenerative energy of Mother Earth and how that's so relevant within the jungle within nature and all around us when we take time to look. It's also been so nice to slow down and just go at like a way slower pace, be able to be super embodied and sensual in every moment because I have time to just connect. And obviously I'm working and there's lots of things I'm doing as well, but there's no excuse within the jungle because everything is so deeply connected and interwoven around in the area in the environment you're in so it's it's very easy to become present so I love it here I'm out here going for a walk. I'm going down this really, really big steep hill to get to the beach. So it's super hot out today, it's super humid. I have some time off and we actually have no Wi-Fi or power right now because we're living in the jungle, baby. So I'm gonna go to the beach and hang out for a bit. It's been raining, which is actually pretty rare this time of year for March here in Punta Banco. But yeah, it's been raining the last few days. It's honestly a little bit of a relief because it's been so hot here. So intensely hot. So yeah, I might go to this little tienda on the corner as well, which is like super small. There's hardly anything there, but yeah, just go check it out. Go for a little exploring. This hill is super, super steep and it's kind of hard to walk down. So I have to be like really careful and because it rains, it's also like a lot more slippery. Oh, so it's, it's definitely a workout to walk down this hill and also to walk back up it. It's a booty workout, I enjoy it, but. <laughs> this is not the steepest part of the hill. It's more down there, but I'm not gonna film that. <laughs> so some locals organized a beach clean for the local school so the local school is doing this really awesome beach clean and they're over there cleaning all the garbage off the beach which is like so amazing and really a way to live sustainably and maintain the health especially of 
beautiful, beautiful place here. It's low tide right now, so there's not that many waves. You can see the rocks there. The beach is so beautiful here. Right now it's a bit cloudy, but it is so So nice to be by the water. I haven't come down here in about like three days because I've been really busy teaching and hanging out with the girls, but it's so nice. There's hardly anyone on the beach. These types of coconuts, they're good for coconut water if you want to crack it open and drink some fresh coconut water. And also if you want to eat the meat inside of the coconut, um, it's a little bit more like fleshy and then there are ones that are a little bit more gray that are really good for coconut cream which I love and they are my favorite. I went to the store, I got like eight bananas. Pretty eventful. <laughs> end of the training here in Costa Rica and oh it's just been such a dream this group is so beautiful they're so aligned with their purpose they're so aligned with why they're here and it's been so beautiful to really see their transformation over this month and be able to witness that and also be a part of that and teach them and oh, I'm just proud of all of them. They just taught all of their yoga classes. They had to teach a 40 minute flow. I joined some of them and it was amazing. It's so wonderful to see like how people can step into their power so much when they become yoga teachers in a way of using their voice, in a way of getting comfortable in front of like a class teaching, like it's definitely a certain skill that yoga really assists with and helps us if we do have any kind of throat blockage. Yoga is a great practice when you're teaching to be able to learn how to like articulate your words and talk with so much intention and embodiment essentially, like really embodying your words. It's a practice and obviously it needs to be cultivated over time. But it's been so beautiful to see the girls really evolve this month and just transform in such beautiful, beautiful ways. And I'm so excited to see what they all create like outside of this container and how they, you know, bring this practice into the world in their own unique and original ways. It's so nice to teach here because we have a gorgeous big yoga deck and there's lots of breeze on the yoga deck so it is very hot here but the breeze is so refreshing and when you're just doing a pose just holding it so strong and then the breeze comes it's such a refreshing moment of like oh like 
a breath of fresh air, honestly, it's amazing. I'm excited to spend a few more days here with everyone. I'm gonna be here for around three more days. And then I'm gonna be heading to Chiripo, which is actually in the mountains of Costa Rica. So it's a little bit more chilly at night in Chiripo and there's like fresh water rivers. And for me personally, I'm more of like a forest, fresh water type woman that desires to just like frolic in the, the fields or like frolic in a forest. But I also really love the jungle jungle and forest together is ideal <laughs> so i'm really excited to go to chiripo i'm really excited for this next few days here and just staying really present and enjoying the time that i have here there's just little things that i take for granted and when i come here i'm just like wow like i can't believe i ever took those things for granted like i would do so many crazy things to be able to like you know have air conditioning for like five minutes or something but you do get used to it after a while and that's the beauty of being in this experience and living in the jungle in this like really raw, um, like untethered way because you start to understand like you don't really need that much. Like, you know, in society, in the world we live in, especially living in a city, we're told to constantly consume. We're told to constantly buy things and have things just instant right that instant gratification be able to go on amazon and buy something or go to the store and get your favorite chocolate bar or whatever it may be and then coming somewhere like here in the jungle of costa rica in the middle of nowhere pretty much <laughs> where there's one tiny little store if you want to get like a snack and hardly has anything it really shows you that like you know this is what how our ancestors lived right and living off the land and being resourceful and creating something out of nothing and you know freezing the fruit making a smoothie making it into ice cream if you're really craving ice cream or having to harvest your own herbs if you need herbs or having to harvest your own fruit if you want a fruit right it's like a completely different experience than a lot of us are used to in the modern world and a lot of people still live like this and it brings us back to that connection that we have to nature and that connection that we have to the cycles of life being able to also connect with the death and rebirth cycle seeing the compost being able to compost your food being able to create your food being able to you know be connected to the full cycle of everything where when you're throwing things out here you know it doesn't just go in the garbage you have to like clean it out and put it in a particular area or for the compost you like put it in the compost and put leaves on top of it and you just really are more connected to the process of the consumption and it makes you really mindful after a while of like whoa like maybe i am like over consuming when i'm not in this environment there's been so many highlights of this experience we did a ceremony at the beach the first night we were here and we all set an intention around a fire and we wrote our intention on a little piece of paper and burned it in the fire and it was so beautiful. That was one of my favorite moments here so far. We also had this like little pizza party on the beach um, and it was so fun. We all watched the sunset we took some photos together and we did it in the most beautiful place on the beach where these all these different like tide pools when it's low tide and these different like coves where you can just dive into the water and float it was so cute and it was so fun i really enjoyed eating with everyone as well because pretty much every meal we have we all collectively sit together and we eat and we talk and we just like share about our life we share about our experiences we share about what we're going through and you know the good things, the bad things, it's just like a beautiful space to be able to be in community and it brings us back into this, this state of like living in community, this place of living in community that a lot of people have been really detached from. Just that beautiful intimate connection that you can build with others, especially other women, right? It's like this um, newfound trust that is built with women that wound that has been created in society of 
you know, us not trusting women, it kind of mends that because women are taught to not trust women from conditioning, from TV, from magazines, from TV shows growing up. It's like a huge thing, a huge subconscious conditioning that we have growing up as women to not trust other women. And it's been really beautiful in an environment like this, we can work on healing that wound and practicing conscious communication, practicing setting boundaries, an intimate connection with others in a very beautiful, open and vulnerable way where we can still feel safe. There's so many things I could say about this training and I'm just so grateful that I was able to partake in it and share my gifts, share the practices that I know have helped me so much in my life. And we're actually planning on hosting another yoga teacher training later this year in Mexico. So if you are interested in coming to that, you're more than welcome to. I would love to see you there. So excited, but also staying present in this moment.